Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back, welcome back. It's your boy, me, Man Mello. We are here. With some more last stop. Uh, I have to change this title on my Facebook page because apparently in the titles for the games, it it can't find like the actual title for the actual game. So, uh, let me see if I can switch this up. Alrighty, let's go on and keep on keeping on. Let's go on to chapter three. Let's go, John Smith. Previously on Last Stop. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Positive syndrome. So what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. I think the fact that I look exactly like you takes care of that. Let him finish. This sounds fun. First order of business, 7.30am. Run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. I should tell you, I'm not known for my timekeeping. Well, you better step up. Amy won't take any crap. Uh, sorry, Molly, pardon my French. Jack loves Amy. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get back to this, please? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no phone. 7.53, consume beverage. 7.55, jump off London Bridge. 8.15, buy Molly a new mobile phone. <laughs> okay, Molly's messing up. <laughs> So, I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Okay. So I'll just go up to her and say... Morning, sweetheart. Pardon? Dad, no. the <laughs> century. <laughs> Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. We're out of cereal. What do you want? Cornflakes? Focus. Look, Amy's a big theatre nerd. She can talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distract her with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. So, 
like Shakespeare. He's a bit good, isn't he? What was the deal with that piss every day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? I wouldn't call him fat. Some people say he's very handsome. So are we going for this run or what? I always think of him as meat and potatoes. You know, no fuss. Some people say that's a rare quality. Keep up if you can. Wow, I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. You spent enough time on the treadmill. Oh, I imagine I come across quite self-absorbed. Well, you're no know, role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too fast. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit chat, you give me a stitch. Come on, let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless, I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me, you're a total workaholic and a massive geek. A massive geek? Too bad. <laughs> yeah. I can live with that. Alright, Jack. That was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You alright? What do you mean? I've never felt better. I'll call you tomorrow. No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? <laughs> Better get our story straight for Shaz. Shaz is great. You're going to love her. Hang on, what do you mean story? Well, you may be surprised to learn. It turns out you and me are related. Huh? Welcome to the family, Jack. <laughs> Talking to John about his mysterious nephew. All right, lad. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Hiya, Shaz. Uh, it is Sh Shaz, right? I think I think John must have told me that. So now your family secrets out. I'm dying to know more. What was it like having John as an uncle? Can't complain. You know, John, a total gent. Always has been. That's kind of you to say, Jack. I would only add that it was made easier by you being such a kind, considerate, patient, intelligent... Oh, Lord. You're going to go over Barry. Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. Well, we can discuss it. What's there to discuss? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Oh, you know, staying at home, playing computer games. He was in Cambodia. Wow, Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peace. Oh, God. Noble stuff. Not that glamorous, really. Mainly just cleaning toilets and making coffee. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high tech startup you see selling solar powered submarines to the super rich. <laughs> Yeah, I almost can't believe it's true. Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow-paced for you while you slum it with us. Bruh. Wait, I'm gonna head off, John. It's gonna be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. Submarines. Too much. Very. So what is it that you do for a job, anyway? Are you a taxidermist? 
A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I, I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up. And Oh, God. It's awesome. Well, you don't look like an artist. Yeah, well, not anymore, I don't, do I? <laughs> but that's my job. I'm a video game developer. That's so cool. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, not, not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free-to-play stuff. My team makes empathy games. Bizarre, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition. Cutting-edge stuff. Uh-huh. I played this game where you had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. Really, Marley? There's one we have at work on a screensaver where you navigate through a maze. Did you do that one? Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. <laughs> Cheerio, Sprout. So where do you work? Do we know we have a Super Sprout? Hot. Not far from your office, actually. One of those green stores. Are you having me on? Is this your real job? Those games aren't going to make themselves, John. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? I struggle enough with the oven timer. Don't sweat it. I'll walk you through it. Think of me as a master puppeteer and you my obedient marionette. Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. She didn't sound that dippy on the phone. You're mean, Jack. How old are you, anyway? <laughs> Eight and a half. <laughs> Good age. Why? Don't know. Jack, what the hell? Hello, stranger. Damn. <laughs> you look well rested. Yeah, it's like the whole weekend. Anyway, I should probably just get going. Someone's in a hurry. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning. Derek's in a good mood. Right, Derek, yeah, the office clown. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him that. He'll have you fired. Right, yeah. I'm completely not with it this morning. I should probably get going. Hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Ma'am. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah, um, it was fun. Turn into a bit of a piss up with the lads, though, to be honest. The whole trekking in Nepal. Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Uh, bye. Deuce. So, what do I do when I get there? It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. That's no good to stuff like that. Molly's well, right. I don't think anyone would follow me into battle. It's simple, trust me. Jonah's working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapson's tea shop. 
Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. And Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Maya is midway through implementing rubble support. And this is a computer game. Video game. Your game sounds bad, Jack. <laughs> It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. It'll make you cry. Jonah Cakes, Letitia Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Maya Rumble. See? You're a natural. Uh, h- hello. Um, good weekends, everyone? Get up to anything interesting? Okay, um, let's see. So I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. You are modelling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. You're doing something with AI. No, no, IA. For retirement homes. Yeah, sounds right. Okay, Tobias. I believe you're looking at a funeral procession. Good luck with that. I'm going to assume that's correct. And finally, Maya. You're rumbling. Rumbling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. I mean, I remembered what you were all working on, but I'm sure you already knew that anyway. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. Keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. (laughs) Cheers. Come on, baby. Tell me now. Oh, Lord. Give me that dairy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Hey, yo. <laughs> what the hell? Himalayan. Wow. That sounds good a little bit. This is ridiculous. What the hell? Headshot. Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Okay. What you got over there? Is that a PlayStation? Jack, <laughs> I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Oh, yeah. Very poignant. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit. And then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... (laughs) Blew that bugger's chin clean off. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that was my favourite bit, too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over next month. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. Sounds exciting. 
<laughs> It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven-day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Seven-day stints? Weekends? You're having a laugh, aren't you? Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but... I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. I'll set an example, all right? Bloody cheek. Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Yeah, well, how about I show you something else? <laughs> hey, Dad. Oh, hey, John. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. Oh, shit. Tell me she's joking. No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. Okay, well, well maybe I had to get <laughs> I told you. Between you and me, I think that Clive fella overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. This is a disaster. It's all good. We've still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I saw your pay slip. Here's the thing. Uh oh. <laughs> Everything okay? Something go wrong? I've got something to tell you. Wait. What? You got fired as well? Pretty eventful day, right? Oh, this is not happening. What a nightmare. Oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. <laughs> okay. That's Molly it. and Miss. I'm going to demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey, it's my figure you're ruining there. But yeah, I'll have a quarter. <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. Oh, I like that job. I, I knew it was going to go to shit, but it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Alright, we're on the way to cheating Mina. Adulterous Mina. Okay? So, let's get it. Chapter 3 Secrets and Lies. The next station is Plaid Square. Mina, who got the sad dude on the side? Previously on Last Stop. Your Wendy, right? I like your wedding ring. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. Hey, Dad. What is this? Who sold these to you? Calls himself Spider. Very easy to find. We doing business or what? No more dealing. You're done. You've got bare bad things coming your way. good <laughs> we really should do this more often i can't do this again i mean give me a moment i didn't mean right this second i mean this us what, what do you mean i don't think there's anything to explain this was just a bit of fun so is that it Okay, well, can I meet you for a coffee sometime? I don't know, this all seems a bit rushed. I 
I need to get dressed. Cheating ass men. He's pissed. Truly pissed. Okay, how are we doing? Am I late? Yeah, by like 20 minutes. An apology would be nice. Sorry. Work. Come on, let's go in. Hello, Dan. Mrs. Hughes. It's lovely to have a chance to talk to you both at last. It was getting late. I'd assumed you weren't coming. I'm so sorry. We were held up. How's Dylan doing, Mrs. Adelaide, is it? Tamara, please. Sorry. I think this is the first time we've met. This is my wife, Mina. Pleased to meet you, Mina. Dylan's progress this term has been good. He's blossoming into quite the artist. I can't believe some of the stuff he brings back from school. I love the crash. I love the crash in that dude doing. You think you could do this often? I'm really sorry about this. It's quite all right. Okay, what were we talking about? Uh, well, as I was saying. Dylan has a, a keen interest in drawing. Sorry, oh. that's me again. Mina. I'm really sorry about this. It's fine. You two continue. Well, I've never been so embarrassed. Is this where I can expect the big lecture on why I'm such a bad parent? Well, you're not a bad parent, Mina. You're just you're never here to do any of it. When you are, I feel like you'd rather be somewhere else. Christ's sake, Dan, it's my job. What do you want me to do? Quit and become what? A teacher? You think we can afford to live in that house on two teachers' salaries? Get real, Dan. I'm providing for this family. Don't throw that at me. I'm not asking for the world. I just want some extra help. I'm off. You can continue this on the way home if you want. <sighs> Damn, Dan. <laughs> like the faceless taxi driver. I tried calling the office earlier. They said you'd left for the day. Well, I don't know why they'd say that. The receptionist doesn't have clearance to know my whereabouts. Brilliant. I feel like you want to ask something. What's the point? You've always got an excuse. Oh! Dan man. Can we go out? Eat your muesli. And then can we go out? No promises, not till that bowl is empty. Even the gravy bits. Especially Can we go to the park then? Or maybe Mum would like to take you. Would you like that, Dylan? Yeah. Get dressed, troublemaker. Thanks, Nina. Oh, be a mom. Can I go on the swings? Of course. Mina Hughes, this is Harlequin. Please authenticate. Hughes 47 Alpha Tango. What's up? 
Amrit has left a memo here asking for your authorization on the Munich document. He's saying you must have forgotten. Can I have some I money? can't send Where it off without someone's signature. Tell Amrit he can authorize this himself. He should know. I explained this to him on Wednesday. Mom, I tried reaching are you him, listening? Went to voicemail. We need this out. Today. Mom! Look, I'm with my son. I'll come by the office and sign it for you. Thanks. Bye. How about we get you home so you can watch some TV? But we only just got here. I'm sorry. I can't stay. I've got to head into work. Oh, uh, you always say that. Fine, let's go then. I'm sorry, Dylan. Are you mad with me? What even is your job? What do you think I do? I don't know. Something to do with lying to people. <laughs> <laughs> That's not entirely incorrect. So, what is it? I could get in a lot of trouble. Why can't you just tell me? Fine. I work for a British private military security and intelligence company. My job is to monitor, support and execute orders for our investigators out in the field. The data is brought home to be analysed, packaged up and returned to the client, usually a government or private interest. How's that? That doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> Sometimes it's not. <sighs> Any ideas what you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a teacher, like Dad, and help people. You can do better than that. What? Like you. What did you just say? Oh! Nothing. I just want to go home. <laughs> Look, you've got your whole life ahead of you to figure out what you want to do when you grow up. I'm just trying to help you. Fine! I don't want to talk about it anymore. I want to go home. Dylan, it's now with the shit. That was short, get impactful. That boy said he was gonna come back. All right, Donald. Let's go. Let's check on man with the glowy eyes. The next station is Cobbett Square. Please stand clear of the exit. Previously on Last Stop. Has he said anything? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? It's always Becky and Vivek. I'm sick of this. I'm going out. Is Becky your friend? What was that? Come a little closer. Ash! I need to get Emma. Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! <gasps> Bye, Ash. Wanted to be nosy. You got your date tonight, love? Yeah. No idea where she's going to take me, though. Nice to see you putting yourself out there. Yeah. Had enough of being single at this point. What are you both talking about? Emma's taking a lovely girl out tonight. I should probably get ready for work. Good luck, Em. What's her name again? Hazel. Well, don't kiss Hazel on the first date. All right, that's enough. <laughs> <coughs> You doing okay, Mum? I'm okay. I'm, I'm just gonna have a little lie down. I don't think I've fully woken up yet. You all right? Of course, hon. Just one of my wobbles. <sighs> a 
Okay, top tip, don't wear your uniform tonight. Let's go for a walk. I need to talk to you about something. Okay. I'm worried about Mum. Why? She's just a bit wobbly, that's all. Mum is really going to need our help from now on. We've both got to pull through for her. Okay. Donna, I mean it. I don't want to see you staying out with your friends all night anymore. I'm not out all night. I'm not trying to have an argument. Please just promise you'll spend some time with Mum this evening. You're not telling me something. I think it's probably best you know what's going on. Well, don't leave me hanging. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Pretty quiet when there's like one person else on the sidewalk. Mum's not well. Oh, what? Like the flu or something? No. I mean, she's really not well. Oh. She's been having some tests and they've not come back great. She's going to be okay, though. I don't know. Mum's a trooper. She'll be alright. I'm going to be late for work. Dip. But the problem is, there's just no way that they could have survived the radiation in the spacesuits that they were wearing. Like, no one can explain that. Problem. It's not even a conspiracy. It's just fact. Look it up. Have you seen The Shining? Donna, hey. Hey, not getting bored yet? Yeah, I passed the time doing some spring cleaning. I managed to take down that old plastic sheet at the back of the pool. I'm getting exhausted by all of this. I think we should discuss our options, all three of us. Oh yeah, sure. We can talk about it when I come back tonight. Moise's party, all right? Oh, I didn't go. Had to help out of the shop. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. By the way, you should take some time to explore this place. There's an upstairs area at the back which is worth a look. Huh. I'll see you later. Okie dokie. <laughs> He's smooth. He is smooth. I'm gonna explore him. Look around. I'm gonna have him look around. How are you feeling today? Everyone seems to be asking me the same questions these days. I'm fine. That's good. You seemed a little unlike yourself the other night. Did I? Well, these are strange times. How's your sister? Oh, don't worry about her. She's not sad. You do ask some odd questions. <laughs> oh, Viv. Take a photo of you. You want to take a photo of me? Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, cool. I've just got to free up some space on my phone.
know that you're pretending to be my prisoner. I've seen what you can do. I don't understand why you don't want to leave. Right now, I'm happy where I am. Mm. What if we let you go? Would you drop us in? If you didn't think I would, you would have no reason to keep me here. Correct. If I let you go, Becky and Vivek would think I'd lost my mind. Probably best I remain there. God, you're so weird. Why are you only speaking to me and not the others? Why do you think that might be? No, you don't. Enough of your super intense questions. I want to know about you. What do you want to know? What's your name? Why do you assume I have one? Your name is now Starry McStairface. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> How's the love life? My needs are met. Why do you only talk to me and not the others? You're not like the others. Okay. Let's play a game. Have you heard of word association? I'll say a word, and then you say what it makes you think of. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. Job. Travel. Afraid. Alone. Future. Unclear. Hmm. That's my mum's favourite song. It's lovely. On here. What's wrong, Donna? Emma told me this morning that Mum isn't well. But it doesn't matter. She's going to be all right. Why do you think that? Sorry? People are frail. If she's old, your mother will probably die. You're horrible. Have I done something wrong? Time's up. Come on. I'm taking you back to your chair. <laughs> Look who's back. Hey. You okay? Yeah. Come on. Let's go for a walk. I take it you weren't a fan of my attempts at interior decorating. No, I love that. It made me smile. I figured if the three of us are spending more time here... Oh, yeah. Isn't Becky supposed to be here? Dunno. Not heard from her since Moise's party. She told me she was going to ask you out. Probably shouldn't have said that. She did. Why do you care about Becky asking me out? Is that why you're upset? No, not really. Something else is bugging me. I mean, I don't see why you'd care about who I went out with. It's Mum. Unless you do care who I go out with. Hey, I'm trying to tell you something. Sorry. What's up with your mum? Just give me a hug, yeah? Say something. Why didn't you say something? Will you stay with me tonight? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. 
Oh gosh. Ah, oh, this could be ah, oh, this could be juicy. Like with me not in down with that dude, Lord. <laughs> Yo Man John Smith he, you know, he's fine. He's that's probably like the most honest and just crazy, you know, body swap thing. Mina on the other hand, she dealing with family problems. She dealing with being an adulterer and then dealing with this druggy and then Donna, she having a damn triangle and dealing with this alien dude. And in this one, they didn't say nothing about Ash. Like, they, they didn't even reference her disappearing or going somewhere. I don't know what? They didn't even touch on that. And then I liked how they all crossed over and everything. Where in, uh... I think it was in Donna's where we saw John, he was sitting at a bus stop, and then Donna's mom is Mina's son's teacher and everything, so, and Dan is a teacher at Donna's school, and one of Donna's, I wouldn't say classmate or school attendee is Mina's side pieces daughter Whew. but uh yeah this will get good like I said I, I said at the end of chapter 2 it was gonna get good so yeah I mean I'm in tune we got what we got three more chapters after this Woo! appreciate everybody for tuning in this is the last stop for Anna Perna variable state you guys have a wonderful wonderful day